Hey folks, this is Vagrant, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. In today's video, we're going to focus near enough 100% just on getting the museum up to scratch. We're going to do some terraforming, we're going to do some building, we're going to make some things. It's going to be big, smiley, thumbs up, shaky face. I don't know what that means, but we're going to roll with it. Um, I did mention, I think at the end of the last video, I was going to try to hunt for a trout. I did, I spent about 150 bait and didn't get one. So that was all very depressing and has been cut out of the video. I do still have some bait left over. I'm going to, you know, try again down the line, but I'm not that worried about it yet. When we get towards the end of the month, then the worry will start to increase. Uh, we're going to check in our nooks. I think checking our nooks is always very exciting. You know, you never know what you'll get. Hey, kids. What are the turnip prices? Just just to highlight my pain, potentially. Yeah, cool. <laughs> the lower they are, the better I feel, really. I don't think I've got anything to sell. Uh, Alright, I do want this. This is cool. Diner counter table, yeah. We can actually make a diner. We can use that downstairs in the, um, in the basement. And a big old TV. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, I'm going to buy it, but bloody hell. <laughs> I have to go get some money out for that one. Hmm. I might have to, uh... Ooh, pineapple. I might... Wait, did I already get it? I don't care. I might have to start playing the turnip market just a little bit more again. That's a new umbrella there. It, that, that's a lot of cashola, you know? A lot of moolah, as the kids say. Maybe. Oh, like, hello. I don't think I've got that one. Alright, we're gonna go get 100k out. I'm gonna go buy this TV. The TVs are pretty rare, as far as I know. I've had, I've seen a lot of people on the subreddit, you know, asking, you know, how do I get a TV? How do I get a TV? And I've got a big chunk of a TV. It is admittedly red, which is an odd colour choice for a television, I would say, generally speaking, but that's okay. KK, get out of the way, book. <laughs> KK is, of course, here today, which is a terrible, terrible thing. I like KK, but there's so many special characters and. They only have six days a week to visit, and you have to wait so long to find the character you want that, you know, losing a day to KK is kind of a pain. I do think the system needs changing, but I've said that a lot lately, so I'm going to shut up. Okay, the, the reason I'm worried, we've got a decent amount of bells left, but we need many more ramps. We do, we still need loads of ramps. I actually don't know where they're going to be. We, I showed you my house plan, or my island plan about four or five videos back, maybe a bit more, more now. Time has no meaning anymore. And it has basically entirely changed, at least in this this middle... No, it has basically entirely changed. <laughs> it really has. That whole bit that was meant to be the museum above the shops is now going to be something else entirely. And I don't know what at this point in time. I suspect it might need one ramp. Yeah. Oh, I did have a thought as well, actually. We need to head this way anyway, so I'll, I'll talk along the way. So, I've been going back and forth. Yeah, I'll show you that in a second. I've been going back and forth about what I'm going to do here. But now that I have a spare ramp, what I was thinking was to build, like, a... Try to make, like, a beach bar kind of thing. Like, the problem with that in the past has been this sort of... I don't know. I don't know what the problem was. But if we do, like, a wooden ramp going up and then, like, a raised, fenced-off wooden area... We can have it kind of overlooking the beach and still give it the beach bar feeling because it'll be raised above the ground instead of just sitting on the grass kind of thing. I don't know, that was a thought in a way. Um, anyway, yeah, we have a campsite visitor again. Remember Pudge came last time? Basically about once a week you'll get a random campsite villager who will come in and potentially, potentially, um, remove one of your current guests. So let's see who it is and if it's anyone that we want and then we'll have to play these games again. Oh, you're kind of cute. You're the one that people love, aren't you? Hmm. Would I swap... I swap Diana. Would I swap Diana? For... Twiggy? Yes. For... Pudge? Yes. Pashmina? Maybe. Okay, so what we're gonna do... I'm not gonna... I, I don't... Like, I, I, Diana is actually one of the most favoured islanders in the entire game. But I don't really care about that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to play the game. We're going to get her to say she wants to move in. And we'll see who she picks. If she picks someone acceptable, we'll go for it. If she doesn't, we're not going to game it. I'm not going to turn it off and back on again and all that kind of jazz. We'll just see what happens, basically. If she picks the right person, she picks the right person. If she doesn't, she doesn't. Okay. 
Okay, you may never know. <laughs> so harsh. Oh god, okay. Okay, so what happens is she checks with resident services. She says there's no room. And then, um... Yeah. Oh. Yeah, okay. She's gonna see who wants to move. And then we're gonna say yes or no. Oh, I don't know, Graham. Oh, I didn't think about this. Oh, no. Diana, you might be super popular, but you're not taking away my chubby little... Well, that was... that was awkward. Okay, she waved goodbye. I'm sorry, Diana. I'm sorry, you can't take Graham away. He's my chubby little hamster nerd. He's going nowhere. If Diana was higher quality and more interesting to me as a person, I think I'd have said yes. But she's basically a bad version of Fauna, and Fauna's the best, so... Anyways, to the museum. We have things to do. Do, 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 do. I feel bad. If she said Twiggy, I'd have said yes. If she said Grizzly, I might have said yes. I feel like I should love Grizzly more than I do. Uh, right, so. What's going on here? Oh, we have to go by the TV, don't we? Got the wall. We've got to turn those in. Uh, what's this? Nope. What's this? Yeah. Okay, so we've got a painting for Blavis, and we're also going to check in all of our fossils. Obviously, we've got museum entrance. We're going to want multiple fossils and stuff like that. We're going to see what we can get. Hopefully. I'm always looking for at least one new one. Just one new one. That would that would, that would would genuinely be enough. We're very close to the end here. Ish. About six away. Eh? Oh. I've got so many spare fossils. So many. <laughs> it's actually crazy. I'll show you the collection I've built up. Let me go put these ones back. There we take the painting. It's not fake, is it? Don't make me sad, Blavers. Cool. Cool. Nope, that's it. Cheers, buddy. Okay. Okay. At least we got an art donation. Alright, so we're gonna nip back and we're gonna pick some stuff that we need if we're gonna, yeah, do we also have to do this? Do loop loop? We have to do loop loop. Sometimes you won't do loop loop, but. You just, you just have to. <laughs> do loop. <laughs> right, we're gonna do a lot of terraforming. The plan originally was for me to kind of do this on my own, but I figured we'll just do a longer, chill sort of episode where we just work on the museum together, kind of thing. Not together, together, but moderately together. Like we're in a long distance relationship with each other. <laughs> right, let's have a little look what we got here. I'd like some more, you know, like the ones we can put down on the ground and it looks okay? Should have kept some fossils now that I think about it. Got to place your tails for days. Oh, I didn't buy my music today. My numpty. Got some megalocides. Shark tooth pattern will be pretty cool. I just want little ones that you can stick on the ground, you know? Bloody Nora. Right. And then I think we want more of the rope fence. I will see what we can do. We'll just have a look for stuff that looks dig sighty, you know? Hey, sweet. It's always good when you get a new one. Right. So, show me fossils. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's a little bit. Okay, that one's going to be really cool. I think we can take. Uh, I think we can take a couple of these shark tooth patterns as well, put those in. That might look good. Um, I'm going to be selling some of my duplicates. I think I want the Ammonite as well. The Acanthostega, sure. The Miragia. Jeremiah, Gir even. Yeah. Do I want a... The, the, my question is really, do I want, like, a big one? Do I want, like, one big, complete fossil? I don't know if it fits the feeling. We're meant to be, like, a an unearthed dig site. You wouldn't, you wouldn't put together a big old fossil in this unearthed dig site. You just wouldn't do it. So maybe we don't do that. Is that crazy? Is that crazy? Maybe it is crazy. I mean, we could put, we could really only put the saber tooth for what it's worth. And the stegosaurus. We can actually put the stegosaurus. It'd be pretty cool. 
I'll have a think about that. I'm not convinced at this point. I am tired. Is what I am. We just use rope fencing. Everything has to feel somewhat temporary, you know. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not doing the big displays. So we can do those somewhere else. Maybe we can think of a way to integrate those. Maybe at like the very entrance. I think I want the director's chair. Let's get to work. So first things first, we need to. I'm only going to do it one wide right now, just because I really just want to get the feel for it. But what I want to do. is um, build up this cliff behind the uh, museum. And this really is just to help it feel like it's dug into the rock, you know? I'm tempted to put this up by one more layer. The only problem is you have to go from a one to a three to do that. But yeah, that's okay. Come on, game. There we go. We'll see what that looks like and we'll go from that. It might not need it. But I mean, at the end of the day, the house is going to move, so it's not really that big a deal. It doesn't really need it, does it? Because you can't see. Unless you go down like that. Oh, which I suppose we are going to. <clears throat> okay, cool. Let's go for it. Screw it. We may as well lean into what we're doing, eh? Oopsie daisy. So, right, okay, some things are going to have to move a little bit here. Um, hmm. Let's grab the old shovel. And anything that's going to stop us from going for a three-wide block here needs to be removed. Oh, this is only tier three. Wait, no, I'm only tier one now. Yeah, tier one, tier two, tier three. We can still climb up there, cool. I only get rid of these as well. Like I said, this whole area was going to change, so this isn't a big deal, really. If I keep saying that... Oh yeah, of course. Uh, hmm. <laughs> okay, let's go stick these over here. I still need a big idea for what the house area is going to look like. I don't really have any big plans for the house. It's kind of all up in the air. Oddly enough, my own house has taken very, very low priority, generally speaking. I, guess I definitely want to make it look amazing, you know, towards the end, but... Right now, I feel like I want to work on the rest of the island. We are nearly done, actually. If you check the map, um, we've nearly done actually moving all the houses from the bottom left. I've already moved Twiggy, so it's actually only two. So two more days after, t three more days after today. Yeah, and they'll all actually be gone, and we can actually start working on that area, which means I kind of want the museum done by then. That's not going to happen, is it? So, <laughs> okay, cool. Right. Now we can uh, buff this up a little bit. It's going to make reaching the house a massive pain for a little bit. That's okay. It's a good kind of pain, you know, folks? Like, I think of a good example here. I don't know, when you've done something bad <laughs> and you think you deserve a little bit of pain and you kind of get that little bit of pain, you're like, ooh, this hurts, but ooh, I kind of deserve this, ooh. I'm a bad boy. No, that's not that's not the metaphor I want. It's not even a metaphor. Let me think. I, I would think of a good example. Pain is good in general, right? We 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 evolved to have pain for a reason. The Krogan in um, <clears throat> Mass Effect just to unite both my series very effectively like that. Don't have pain, which makes them very hardy in battle. You know, like berserkerish and willing to do whatever they need to. But on the other side of that. We do have pain for a reason. It's to tell our bodies, you know, stop doing that, you bloody idiot. <laughs> like, how do Krogan babies know not to, like, jump into the fire, you know? If they don't feel pain, then that's probably really nice. It's, like, probably a really nice experience. I don't know. I'd be curious, because I know there are people out there who've had conditions that mean their, like, pain receptors are very, very very weak or non-existent at all, so I'd be curious as to how they experience their lives. Anywho, boop, 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 boop. Oh god, this is going to be so annoying. It's going to be so annoying. <laughs> That's fine, whatever. Where's that? Oh, it's that. No. Where's that lamp? Oh no, it's going to take so long. There it is. 
No! It's Garden Lantern, isn't it, that I'm looking for? I'm gonna find you. I will find you, and I will put you on the ground. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, so the house is probably going to be straight ahead here instead of curving around to the left. Um, but this water's not going to be here anyway. I might keep the house on this side just because it's near the turnip farm and I quite like that. But there will be more path going upwards, basically. Um, right, so let's go see what that looks like. Now we've not actually done anything, now that I think about it. We need to actually uh, head up here. And... Doop, doop, doop. <clears throat> This is only going to be one block wide. But the idea isn't to see it from up here, the idea is just when you view the museum, it looks like there's lots of dirt around it, you know? As long as we get that, I'm pretty happy. We could at some point maybe extend this out a little bit further, put like a little water feature in and like thicken this cliff up a little bit, that would be okay, I'm down for that. But we'll see how it goes. Now this corner is not going to work, we have to go there. Which I don't love, but we can we can fix that, that's, that's not so hard to fix. That'll do for now. Let's hop back down. This, by the way, is why I was going to do terraforming outside of the video, because it takes blimmin' ages. <laughs> Absolutely blimmin' ages. But is it worth it? I think so, I think that's pretty cool. I like it. I kind of want to bring the cliff out a little bit, like here. And then we can bring that down as well and thicken that top bit up a little bit. Just make it look more like it's dug in, you know? No! We need to make sure we can still get into this little roped off bit. And obviously we'll have to cover these top layers in. I'll do that now. Not worried about the top top layer, but we need to cover this one in a little bit of dirt just to, you know, blend it in basically. Tell you what, I think we also need to cover like the entire ground in dirt as well, and that's going to take freaking a billion years. I'm very excited to do that, but it is not going to be fun to watch. I'm just going to do this, this, <laughs> but all on the ground where the museum actually is, and we're going to replace it with the uh, the dark dirt we've used on our left side. So, what I'll do, out of sheer love and admiration for all of you at home is we'll skip forward a little bit. I'll do all this uh, ground painting bit and then we can carry on with the fun stuff. How's that for a plan? Okie dokie, here we go key. <laughs> I'm not convinced by these pillars. Um, I like it that it breaks up what's going on. But the problem of course is that the, the grass kind of makes it really stand out unfortunately. But uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty good in general. I, it looks like a museum in a dig site, very much so, and that's without the rest of the detailing, so I'm pretty happy with that so far. I have two concerns right now, mainly. Um, the first is the path. How do I do a path through here? Do we just... I think if we just put a couple of stones in and keep it quite loose, it might look okay. I might change up the stones a little bit and make them a little bit more uh, dirty or whatever, but let's just have a little look at what we've got. I mean, even... That kind of thing, just kind of dotted around every now and again, leading up to the museum from down here, might be okay. I might just have a little look online, see if we can find something a little more appropriate. Um, I think I want to make the... Yeah, let's just do that quickly. I kind of want to funnel you in a little bit. One of my other concerns is that... Um... Nope. <laughs> One of my other concerns is that... It's going to stick out a lot, sort of in the context, the wider context of the the island, right? It doesn't, like, blend in that well. So, in order to help that out, I think it needs, like, quite a skinny entrance way. We can always I make this look better later on, but if it's kind of enclosed, like that, and we can put the rope in front of it, then maybe it'll stick out a little bit less. Especially if there's sort of more cliff to the size, and, you know, we'll do cliffs and water features up here, and then we're gonna move that ramp. That ramp will probably end up around here somewhere. You go up, 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 up. More cliff, more water features, and go down there. Yeah? Yeah, it definitely stands out a little bit, but it probably would do, right? I don't know if there's that much I can do about that. I like it. Let's get some rope. That's my rope. I think that's... 
so like <laughs> it's just too short by one okay that's fine that's fine it's fine it's fine well let's have a look if we run straight down in the line here oh museum you're actually so annoyingly made do you know that <laughs> it's such a pain because <laughs> that right there no no that's no, actually that's fine that's fine what am i on about i'm making numpty So that line there takes you straight down to the museum. Near enough. It's a little bit iffy, but close enough. Obviously this can all change design-wise, but I'm just trying to... Uh, and then we build the cliffs out a little bit more down this way. We put some signs outside saying, you know, this is the museum section, stuff like that, maybe. And all this is going to change. Everything here is going to change. So how it blends together, I don't want to worry about too much right now. Like This is probably going to be like a park plaza sort of thing yeah the houses are over there then I've got like a water feature idea for above the houses all ten houses going in the bottom right and then there's gonna be like a lake in front of them with like a like a promenade kind of thing it's gonna look really nice to the left of that's gonna be the staircase up I need to get back on the Photoshop but I've got I've got I've got the plan I've got a rough idea so let's do a little bit of work here I thought I'd dig out like a little side bit and that would be where the office is so we need to spend about 500 hours now looking for our table. There it is. Didn't take us. Well, didn't take 500 hours anyway. Oh my god, it's humongous. <laughs> Don't know what I expected, but it wasn't this absolute unit of a table. I might knock in that wall there. Just by that much. It's just about making sure you can see everything, basically. But yeah, that looks good to me. I saw them for more like a long table. I know I'm just being picky at this point, but... Wooden chair, there we go. Is there a nine wood chair? I don't think there is. But maybe. Come on, kid. There we go. Yeah. Okay, uh, right. So what else do we want on here? It's so much harder to do this outside than it is inside. What do I want him looking at? What I really want is like a little laptop or something. That'd be really cool. Um, I'm gonna put the cassette player. Mm, that can go on the floor though. Has to be things that have to go on the table. So that's like the mug has to go on the table. And is there anything else that has to go on the table? The mug and the globe and the bottled ship. Yeah. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. It's hard to squeeze around here. I want to put the globe there. And then what I'd like there is also a stack of documents, but for now it will have to be a mug of tea. And then just imagine he's got a laptop in front of him or her, and a big or or a big stack of documents. It'll be one of the two, and then that's their like little mini office. I kind of want to rope it off. Actually, I kind of want to build the cliff around it a little bit more, maybe. It's like down the here. Maybe we can actually link these together. It's important to have these little bits sort of sticking out. Let me bring that in by one. But this right side feels more sticky in the outy than the left side does. But that's okay. The left side's got a big sticky in the bit there, so yeah, that's fine. I have to nip up and clean that up a little bit. But that's okay. Right, so he's got a little office. I'm gonna put rope across from this line here. It'd be nice to have like a, like I said, like a little mess area kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Um, right, okay. I'm going to put the barrels in here. If I was a barrel, where would I be? I would be here. And the idea is just, I don't know, they need barrels. <laughs> that's that's the, the idea is they need barrels, okay? That's, that's literally as far as the idea goes. They have barrels. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I don't think about that. I mean, it might look better when they're... It might look better if they're spread out rather than together. I think this area might just be too contained. Hmm. 
Let's put down some of these lanterns. Not there, though. Come here. Everything on this massive bloody grid, eh? I wonder if we can use like the lanterns as the pathing. A little bit. Oh, I kind of want to put one like up here maybe? On like a raised section? That might look quite cool at night. Well, let's come back and see this at night time. But I want more lanterns and stuff in there. Uh, right, let me, let, me, let me think. This will be the main... So this is the office. This is the actual main, main dig site area. So, if we're going to have, like, a main dig site area, what do we want around there? I think the effects rack and the generator should both go in that area. I'm thinking they might look cool if they're raised up above it. Rather than, you don't necessarily want the electronics right down in the pit because they might get damaged. So, I think we can maybe put them on this little ledge here. I'm getting less convinced by the, um... The, uh, the, <laughs> the barrels. Can I put music on this? Yes, where's my KK love song? Well, we'll have to pick something. I actually can't hear it anymore because I've got my uh, music playing, but um, we'll have to get something a little bit action adventure going on, you know? I think having the cooler and the music next to each other is a good idea. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. <laughs> Give me half an hour. I'll get there. So I'd like like a mini table for the for this as well, and maybe just a few chairs dotted around. Maybe we push that wall in on the left a little bit, and we just make like a general hangout area for the paleontologists. You know. It's a little bit blue, but that's okay. Uh, right, so the barrels are going to hold on to for now because I'm not sure. I think we can put one in here. Yeah, it's like a little waste disposal area. Oops, it is. I'm okay with that. If hiccups. It'd be nice if we could have like a little mutant there as well. That'd be cool. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, adult generator, lantern, director's chair. I don't know what I'm going to do with the director's chair. I could have a chair here. Maybe I just want more director's chairs. But they feel... I don't know, important? Yeah, I'm not convinced on that one. I think maybe what we want... Instead of director's chairs, maybe what we want, we want is like ground cushions. I want the little office over there on the right to feel important. Right, let's go sort that out. There's a couple other things we need, so what we should do is go order from Nux. So I only want one chair. Only the the head of the paleontological dick is allowed a chair. Everyone else is scum and must sit on the floor. Okay, that's how it works. So we're going to go Nux shopping. Shopping. And there. And this might take about a billion years. But we can also keep an eye out for... Oh! I know they're arcade seats, but like a little stool is not actually a bad idea. Because it's, it's still a chair, but it's less... It's a less chairy chair, you know what I mean? That's an official term, by the way. I'm leaning towards that more than uh, the other idea I had. Yeah, let's go for that. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I like the... Okay, I'm going to buy a few of these. I like the idea of doing like a little sleeping bit. I'm going to do three of them. I think any more, we're, like, we're going to run out of room. We're going to end up expanding this whole thing up way more than I anticipated. <laughs> Take me out back and shoot me. Do I not have anything laptop looking, paper looking, anything like that? That'd be a cool thing if we can find it. See if anything pops up. I don't think not for sale stuff should be in this list. Or oh, you should be able to separate it. Wait, can you? 
No. You should be able to separate by for sale and not for sale, I think. Just to give my controversial opinions, you know? Like, I totally get why it's like this. I'm just gonna buy the lanterns. Am I looted? Yeah. Why? That's <laughs> such a weird limitation. Okay, cool. So we're gonna have three beds in, and we'll put like a lantern there, and like a couple of stacks of books and stuff like that, I guess. Uh, what are you doing? What just happened? Oh, right, yeah. Oh, sorry, I wasn't paying attention to that at all. <laughs> That's totally my bad. So what that is, pretty cool. Big smiley thumbs up face. Yeah, we can now shop from here. It's pretty cool, right? I mean, to an extent it doesn't matter because I'm always going to go check in anyway on the daily because I want to check in for my ABD points. So it doesn't actually do much. Um, but still, it's cool. <laughs> it's like Amazon. There we go. Okay, cool. I like that idea that we got. Like a little bunk area. I just want stuff in the middle, although we'll put fossils in. I think we're going to knock this area on the left in. And that's where we're going to put the beds. Maybe have it come out a little bit further to the right. To force people down sort of this bit here. Bring this out a bit. Okay. Right, we need to head up. We're always going to have a ramp here. It might not be precisely there and precisely that ramp, but there will always be a ramp. It's like Harry Potter and Voldemort. I'm Harry Potter, the ramp is Voldemort. <laughs> There's always got, we've always got to exist. And then we're destined to kill each other eventually. Is that Harry Potter? <laughs> it's sort of Harry Potter, right? They can live together in the same world or something. I can't remember, it's some malarkey like that. I want to put something up here. No, the generator and the other stuff is going elsewhere. The briefcase is going to go down in the, uh, the little work area, the office. What I might do, eh, eh, put a little cliff up here as well. Although I think that's the only bit I can do. <laughs> that's okay. Can we get around down here? Nice. Very cool. It's like a Dark Souls dick pit. I don't know why Dark Souls has become my reference for good level design, but hey ho. My, my major concern is how does this blend in with the rest, but I think we can figure that out. I think we just need to build up the cliff around it. Doesn't necessarily make it fit in, but... What are you going to do? <gasps> Love it! I even think about doing that. That's very cool. I like that. Uh, what's that going to look like? I'm not convinced on that one now. I'm not sure that's a good idea, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, right, here we want the generator. And the effects thing. I wouldn't mind a quick way in and out of here. We could, in theory... Well, wait, what? I'm confused. We could, in theory, just put a... Yeah, wait, why don't I just do that? <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think to do that ages ago. That is totally the wrong path, isn't it? And then that'll let that sit next to it. Because this, this is gone. This is already gone. I've already like set this for destruction. Although Hosby will be very disappointed. This whole area is going to be flattened. I figure there's no... We might put like one ramp in for whatever it is. But I have no idea what's going here right now. No idea whatsoever. I just, I'm thinking if I'd like a way in and out of the pit that isn't down there, you know? Like, do I want a ramp somewhere, just like a little wooden one? I think it might look quite nice. Where would I even put it, though? I mean, like, around here, like, here would be the idea. Probably. I'm gonna run out of room. I thought it had so much space in it, it started to run out already.
Um, I like that generating stuff like that. That's pretty cool. I kind of want to move it so it's near the lights, I guess. I will see. Okay. My main concern is the ground texture. It needs a way to... Oh, I like the Ammonite a lot. Uh... Release yourself to me. Yeah, there we go, beautiful. Is it too much stuff? Maybe. Eh, can you have too much stuff though? Yes, clearly. <laughs> Maybe instead of these just being out randomly like that, which doesn't totally make sense. We put them over here. Give me a minute, I can do this. Eh. Eh. <laughs> They're kind of like being stored with the director. I don't know why I keep calling them director, but that's what we're leaning into. Yeah, they're getting stored with the, the lead of the, the thing. That may make more sense. He's got his little, little collection going. There is! Come on, game! Bloody Nora! Maybe? I'm gonna bring this one down by one. Ugh. Now I never have to go down there again because it's a pain. Ugh. I don't mind a couple of them. I like I like the look of that shark tooth one up there, and I like the look of the uh that guy up there, but other than that, yeah. Got one more shark tooth. I can hide it a little bit. They just, I feel like there would just be random things like laying about a little bit, you know? It wouldn't necessarily be the neatest thing in the world. That's not my excuse, it's genuinely what I think it would look like. It's like metal cans, just bam, sitting there, why not? I'm gonna put the briefcase down here as well. Some of this I may take back for my, um, my office when I finally get one. Nice! Okay, I'm pretty happy with it. It's coming together, it's not there yet. I kind of want more of that tier 3 cliff and like more areas surrounding it and so the cliff needs expanding we need a path I think the lack of pathing down the middle is a problem right now I don't really have a plan in mind I think once you add a path down there that's going to look really cool but I need to think of what that path is going to look like. I do think it's just random rock is the way to do it. Or even like if I could get like footprints in the dirt or something, that might look really cool. I'm just going to just 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 bear with me. Just bear with me as I do some very professional YouTuber stuff. <laughs> what I'm going to do is um, let's just search dirt in Animal Crossing's subreddit. And we'll see what comes up. If anyone's made like a nice dirt path, that would be useful, maybe, possibly. Mm, no, everything's terrible. <laughs> the problem is we can't use a different colour path because it'll add the green texture around the outside, you know? Um, oh, oh, I was also thinking, by the way. We're going to have to move the museum. <laughs> yeah, I'll do this I'll do this on my own later. We're going to have to move the museum. Um, if we cover that floor in dirt and then put the museum on there, Right now, I can't put dirt underneath the museum. It doesn't work. But if we move the museum and then move it back, it will actually sit on... We can actually cover it in dirt and it won't get rid of the dirt. It won't add the grass. I just can't add it when it's already there. Which is annoying, but it's what it is. So I'm going to move it, cover that whole area in dirt, and then move it back again, basically. Yeah. I mean, I think when there's stuff here and there's cliffs around it and I know what the hell I'm doing. Okay, everything's moved. It's confusing. <laughs> and if we figure out what we're doing to the left of this area, it's going to look pretty cool. I wouldn't mind a little bit of water. I'm just trying to think about where I would do that. 
I know I've got a little obsession with water as well, so I'm trying to resist it. I just think like a little, like a little stream that they dug into, you know, there's like an underground stream and they dug into it and it's kind of just flowing across a little bit. It would be pretty cool. But I don't know where that would be. I guess we're expanding this area on the left of the beds. So, hmm. Just nip up here. Meh. <laughs> we can bring this wall in on the right. I don't love this water feature, it's not doing much for me. I don't mind bringing this in, making this into a more cliffed off area. Making the tip, making this cliff tighter to here, basically, is what I'm saying. And then, so we can knock out all this area here and put the beds in there. And other than that, we're pretty much done. Alright, cool. Cool, 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 cool. And I'll, ah! <laughs> I need to block off all my flowers, or I'm going to do this constantly. I've got so many, though. Okay, we're going to end it there. So, successful day. Um, this will be, like, the bulk of the work is done. And we get a photo. But it's something that we'll have to, you know, work on over time, obviously. Do I want to zoom in? Eh, not really. Ah! Ah! I haven't quite got the camera <laughs> figured out yet. Right, what pose do we want to do? Mm. It's, mm. it's better. Okay, so <laughs> next video, we're gonna go back to fishing. I think we we need to do another fishing episode. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Love that song. Anyways, so I think we're gonna go back to fishing in the next video. Um, keep moving houses, move the museum, figure out what on earth we're gonna do to the left of this place and to the south and everything. Like. It's funny, sometimes I feel like I've got no room and then I look at the map and realise I don't know what I'm doing for half of this. <laughs> well, we'll get there. We'll get there. I'm going to hop back into Photoshop and plan it out a bit, but yeah, I'm feeling good. It's, it's going to look cool, at the very least. The cool things are cool. Okay. Right. Anyways, thank you for joining me. Fishing tomorrow and maybe a bit more work on this. You know, we'll have the beds and stuff so we can do that a little bit as well. Expand into there and obviously I'd love to hear your opinions and thoughts on, you know, what we think we should do next as well. Until then, thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you lovely folks then. Cheers, myself as always. Bye-bye.